Hello. It's a great honor for me to be here among you fighters for freedom. And I know that I am staying here just because my people this winter sacrificed their lives for me to live in a better country. I traveled a lot since I made the famous video. And what disappointed me, a lot of people couldn't find Ukraine on the map. Actually, here is it. <laughs> Someone even doesn't know that it's not a part of Russia. And we are not a part of Russia. We have our own language and history and culture. Actually, we are a few hundred years older than they are. But for centuries, we were part of different empires. And only 25 years ago, we became independent from the last empire, the Soviet Union. And we thought we are finally free and we will build this country that our ancestors were dreaming about. But unfortunately, all our governments were ruled by corrupted people who thought only by, about themselves and never worked in the interest of people. And the worst was Viktor Yanukovych, our former president. His government was a government of criminals, corrupted thieves, who was stolen from country's treasury as from their personal treasury. They rigged the elections several times, they imprisoned political opponents, they smothered the press, and in the end, after he made the corruption a way of life in Ukraine, after you had to pay a bribe on every step to have your child in kindergarten, to have a normal health care, to go to school, to go to university, you could even pay a bribe to become a judge and have any judgments you want. After all these laundry seams, after stolen half of our country, one day he decided to change our political direction. For the last few years, we were getting ready to sign the agreement with the European Union, the association agreement. But in one day, he said us, um, I refuse to sign this agreement. Here is actually his Mejahiria, his residential, his residence. It's uh, uh, half the size of Monaco in a country where it's uh, the salary $200 per month. After he refused to sign the association agreement, young people of Ukraine, about thousands of young Ukrainians, went on the street, on the center part of the Kiev, of my city. And they stood peacefully there for a week, I think. But one night, they were bloody beaten just for peaceful protest, just for staying, singing their songs, and uh, saying that you have no right to change our political direction and hear what happened. They were beaten bloody. And then the next day, millions of us raised up. Millions of us went on the street. We called that the revolution of dignity. People were standing day after day on the frozen cold. But our authorities ignored us. And then one night, they attacked us. And then first snipers killed first victims. And here's one of the first victims, Serhii Nihoyan. And me, a student at the university, I was so frustrated after this death that you even cannot imagine how is it. We lived in completely European um, society, I can say. We, we had a normal life. We went to universities, theaters, restaurants. We just uh, live as all the normal humans on this world. And then one day, one of us is shot just because he protested peacefully. And I was desperate, the, the world, to know what is happening. I was writing to all my friends abroad. I was trying to share this story and to say, hey, guys, we are not what Russian propaganda is saying about us. We are not Nazi extremists or poor people from the street just having no job. We are just trying to live in a normal society. And uh, then I made uh, the video, uh, which became viral. I want 
these people who are here, who have dignity, who are brave. I want them to live a normal life. We are civilized people, but our governments are barbarians. That's not a Soviet Union. We want our courts not to be corrupted. We want to be free. I know that maybe tomorrow we will have no phone, no internet connection, and we will be alone here. And maybe policemen will murder us one after another when it will be dark here. That's why I ask you now to help us. We have this freedom inside, inside our hearts. We have this freedom in our minds. And now I ask you to build this freedom in our country. You can help us only by telling this story to your friends, only by sharing this video. Please share, share it. Speak to your friends, speak to your family, speak to your government and show that you support us. After that, actually, my father called me and uh, said, Hey, Yula, aren't you an American spy? What are you doing? My neighbors uh, said that you're an American spy. We cannot understand what, what are you saying, but you said it in English. They were shocked. Yeah. And uh, it took me, uh, I think, uh, half a day to persuade him that I'm not. I'm his granddaughter. It's OK. <laughs> but unfortunately, uh, nothing helped. Our authorities were so scarified to lose their power then they killed more than 100 people in three days. And we called them the heavenly 100. The 100 people from heaven who came to this earth, to my country, to give us a chance for real independence, for real freedom. And so today, Ukrainians naming the streets after them, after them. We believe that they are like angels who are watching us on everything we are doing for our countries. We believe that they are watching our politicians, and I believe that they are watching us now. We paid an enormous human price for our right to live in a free country. And our dictator ran away. And we thought we will build this country. We had a fair election, free election, we elected new president, and we started a process of developing. But the government of our neighbor and former friend Russia didn't think like so. They sent their troops to our territory. They occupied Crimea. And now they started an undeclared war on the eastern part of my country. They're doing everything to prevent us from the normal, normal development. But I want you to know that the mentality of the Soviet era has gone. We were reborn this, on this revolution to create a new free country for free people. And we will never, ever give up. And I believe that today, each of you who believe in freedom, justice, human values, is Ukrainian in your heart, a little. As uh, one Georgian singer said, we are all Ukrainians. And I ask you to stay with us in this fight. I ask you to join us, because I believe that godness, goodness has to stay together because only together we can create miracles. Thank you.